Hi everyone, it's Kelly and welcome to my channel. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I appreciate it very much. If you like the content here, consider doing so. And remember to tap the bell so you can um, be notified of the next uploads. So today I'm going to be sharing with everyone the uh, angelically channeled horoscopes for the, all the fire signs for the month of June. And I'll be referring down to my notes. I just finished uh, the channeling. And um, here it goes. First, we're going to start with the sign of Aries. Again, this is for the month of June 2022. General interpretations, obviously, as they are by nature of what we're doing here. Um, any information um, that resonates with you, take, take it, and what doesn't, you know, leave the rest. So, um, the Archangel began by saying, again, this is for Aries. June may pass very quickly for some of this sign and be largely uneventful, astrologically speaking. For others of this sign, it will be just the opposite. Filled with many highly charged, mainly favorable events and emotions, there will really not be a middle ground this month. This is largely due to the Venus cycle, the retrograde cycle, and the sun's transit. You will know on which end of this energy spectrum you fall within the first week. This proclamation is not written in stone. He went on to say, there are influences, excuse me, these are influences only, and every sign, every soul has great power within themselves to overcome any cosmic forces. This may be an auspicious month for you to take a good look at yourself in the mirror and praise yourself. This may also be an auspicious month to really amp up your participation in the global awakening movement. If you find yourself alone in this matter, perseverance is recommended. Many of this sign will take the reins and gallop forward in realizing their sole purpose as well, some for the very first time in their lives. This applies to all of the fire signs during the month, not only Aries. The travel house is activated also, and many of you will find yourselves traveling to distant lands this month and next. Praise be for freedom. Your theme for this month is acceleration. The Archangel shared that your most positive days of the month of June will be the 12th, the 16th, the 18th, and the 30th. Affirmations for the month to support you are... I am aware of my power. I embrace my sole purpose with gratitude and grace. Okay, next I'd like to move on to the channeled horoscope for Sagittarius, all those born under the sign. And I'll have a little time stamp in the description if you just want your sign and you don't want the other fire signs, etc. Okay, so for Sagittarius, Look over your shoulder this month, dear ones, Michael began, and I will be by your sides. This month, many of you will realize a growth spurt in your intuition with your channels growing. For some, this is completely new and exciting, and for others with heightened awareness already, you should reach new heights. Why is this occurring, you may ask? You may accept this as spiritual truth. Your world is ascending, and there are multiple forces, planets, galaxies, and even ocean tides, which have been accelerating humanity's return to infinite power. If your intuition in the past has been limited or unintentionally shut down, this month would be a wonderful time to set aside time to be intentionally directed to inner knowing. Some of you may use tone for this, I especially love crystal bowl tone for this purpose, and many of you that have worked with me off YouTube will know it's been Michael's recommendation for many years now. Others of you rely on gems and stones, sandalwood and shargonite, shargonite, shogonite, I think it is, is good for this. Others of you go into deep meditation to access this inner wisdom. I recommend that this be done on Mother Earth's ground when possible. 
Many regrets which you may have carried on your shoulders will be softened by the influences of Mars, the Moon, and Neptune in combination. Separately, you may know Mars as an angry planet, but not when combined as stated. Of course, there are many other means to elevate your light bodies to allow more light to enter. Star healing intergalactic energy, of which she is the founder, that's me, is one such manner. Do not overlook easy means to remove limiting codes which were placed in the human and animal bodies with the exception of those born after 2012 by the Anunnaki. For some, immersion into the use of light language as codes is recommended, as codes, star codes. If you have, if, excuse me, if you have had any tunnel vision for the past few months, this too should be easing from your shoulders. Rejoice. Your theme for this month is intuition. Your most positive days of the month, the Archangel said, will be the 1st, the 8th, and the 28th. Affirmations for the month, Michael recommended for you, are, I am open to receive more information for my highest good. I'm choosing to ask my guardian angels for assistance, and I am never alone. Okay, lastly now for Leo, those born approximately July 23rd to August 22nd. He began by saying, as a considered fire sign using your 12th house zodiac system, this month, or at least a portion of it, may present challenges in specific areas of your life per the diagram I am sourcing. Therefore, preparation and a can-do attitude will serve you well. This is especially true for those mid to late Leos. Of course, as this is general in nature, there may be some exceptions. The challenging aspects may stream from your house of interpersonal relationships and finance, especially savings and future dreams and wishes. This would not be the best month, for example, for some of this sign to take out a loan. Rather, paying one off is best. This may also not be the best month of the year to expect that all of your communications will go smoothly, especially in the workplace. If you choose your words carefully before speaking them, which may be a challenge in itself for some fire signs, you can minimize unnecessary conflicts. It is still a good time to go over any documents and written correspondence two or three times. Otherwise, some details could slip by unnoticed, creating a little bit of havoc. Be cautious this month, but this does not imply taking no action. It would be a good month to apologize to anyone which you may have inadvertently hurt in the past. It would be an excellent time to journal and also an excellent time to find solace in nature. With a can-do attitude, the potentially oppressive energies converging from multiple cosmic sources can, be, can minimize conflict in all areas. Additionally, it is wise this month, in the first two weeks especially, to delegate to others what you may have been taking on begrudgingly yourself. Delegate is a can-do energy, is it not? Identify your boundaries. That's a wise space to also occupy this month, as you may feel lethargic if you take on too much. The Archangel went on to share that your theme for this month is can do. Your most positive days are the 9th, the 15th, the 20th, and the 22nd. Affirmations to support you are, I can do anything I put my mind to. I am choosing to get, delegate to others things that, which I do not excel in, and I do so with a generous heart. All right, friends, thanks for watching.